Hi everybody, it's Deborah from PeopleLovingAnimals.com. Thanks so much for tuning in and watching my video today. In today's video, we're going to talk about bringing home a new pet. And what I want is for this video to provide you with all the resources that you need uh, regarding bringing home a new pet. If we went over all of these topics in this video, it would be like a four hour video. So I'm gonna touch on everything and I'm going to give you resources for each aspect of taking care of your pet. We're gonna talk about preparing for your new pet, bonding with your new pet, your pet's health, what to do if you're bringing home a new pet and you have children or you have other pets already in the house, I am going to give you information on how to take care of your pet and how, also, I'm sorry, how to train your pet. So if you'll hang with me, I think by the end of the video, you're going to find that you've got a lot of help um, preparing for your new pet. If you've not been here before, my name is Deborah. I own this website called PeopleLovingAnimals.com and I do videos all about the care and health and training of dogs and cats. So if you would like to subscribe, I would love to have you on board. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for supporting the channel. And if you like today's video, please give it a like. It really does help YouTubers when you do that. Now, uh, bringing home a new pet, it's super exciting, it's super fun, but it can also be a little bit nerve-wracking, especially if you're a new pet owner and just thinking about all the responsibilities and have you covered everything. And so I'm going to give you some resources here. First of all, preparing for your new pet. There's some steps that you should take uh, before bringing your new pet home, okay? For example, pet-proof your home, set up a designated area for your um, pet's food, their bed, where you want them to go potty. These things should be established and decided on ahead of time. Have essential supplies, um, all the things you're going to need for your new pet. I'm going to give you links in the description box for some checklists for that that you can print and use. Uh, one is how to get ready for a new puppy. It's a printable checklist. I'll give you a new dog printable checklist. Um, what does a new kitten need? That's a printable checklist. And I'm also going to include a link for an ebook on the complete cat and uh I'm sorry, Cat Care and Cat, Cat Health Guide. It's just a nice resource uh, that I want to give you because especially if you're a new cat owner, that's going to help you a lot. Also, bonding with your pet. Um, when your pet first arrives, spending time with them and just kind of giving them reassurance in their new home is really crucial, especially if you have a young pet or if you have a, a rescue pet, okay? They can be kind of really stressed out by going to a new home. Some of the things that you can do to kind of bond with your new pet, like I said, is to spend a lot of time with them. Set a routine when they eat, when they go potty, when they go to bed, because just like small children, pets get comfort in that. They're, they're less fearful if they know what to expect next. It really takes a lot of stress off of a, off of a pet. Also, be consistent with activities like feeding, potty, playtime, bedtime. Don't rush your pet. Don't expect too much at once. Acclimating to a new environment takes time, and it is different for every pet, and also depending on where that pet came from. You know, are they coming straight from mama, or are they coming from a shelter? Are they being rescued? Are they a feral um, cat, for example? It depends on... It depends on them and their personality and what their history has been so far. Um, I'm going to give you a couple resources. One is my post called How to Bond with Your Dog, and the other is my post called How to Understand Cat Language. Both of those posts have a video, and I will link the video uh, in the description box for you. Regarding your new pet's health and well-being, first of all, if I, I always suggest that people get pet health insurance. I am going to give you a recommendation for Lemonade Pet Insurance. They do have policies starting at $10 a month, and then they also give you a discount if you're insuring more than one pet. I'm going to give you a couple of um, resources about pet insurance, but I do, I do always recommend it. Um, you should be scheduling an appointment with your veterinarian, veterinarian, have your pet checked out, make sure that they have a full checkup, make sure they have all their shots. 
And then be prepared before the appointment um, for a list of questions so that you don't leave the appointment saying, oh, I wish I would have found out this, I wish I would have found out that. And also, when you're taking care of a pet, getting your vet's recommendations on taking care of that pet is just really valuable. A few things that you might discuss with the vet are feeding recommendations, exercise requirements, grooming schedules, and any other needs that your particular pet might have based on their species or their breed or their age, for example. I'm going to give you some resources here regarding health. Indoor cat health, I'm going to give you that video. The Ultimate Guide to Dog Health, that's an ebook that I found very uh, informative. Preparing for your puppy's first vet visit, that's uh, a post with a video that I think you'll find really helpful if you're bringing home a new puppy. And I'm going to give you um, my post called Health Insurance for Pets, Everything I Wish I Had Known. And that kind of goes over... Um, not basically, not really convincing you to get pet insurance, but helping you decide if it's something that you should have, okay? If you have children or if you have other pets, you have to remember that bringing home a new pet is going to affect um, everybody in the household, especially other pets and especially if you have small children. So I'm going to give you some resources in the description box. One is a free professional tutorial from professional dog trainer Doggy Dan, and it's about introducing household pets in general, okay? Um, I'm going to give you another um post of mine that contains a video called bringing your new puppy home preparing your family for the new puppy and i'm also going to give you another free tutorial from uh, professional dog trainer doggy dan on getting the kids involved with training your new dog and that applies to either a, an adult dog or a puppy and that's just a really good thing to get not only to get the kids involved because it's just good for them to learn how to take care of a pet and how to how to train a pet but it's also just good to teach your kids how to treat an animal you know i just think it's just really good if kids have that sort of um instruction you know when they're kids generally how to take care of your pet i have a nice video called how to take care of a dog and i have a nice video called how to take care of a cat i will give you those links in the description box and each of those cov covers several individual aspects of pet care. So I think that you'll you'll find a lot of helpful information there. Also regarding pet training, my recommendation for pet I'm sorry, for puppy and dog training is um, professional dog trainer Doggy Dan. He owns a website called theonlinedogtrainer.com. I've been recommending him uh, for puppy and dog training for more than nine years now because first of all his his training is kind. That's important to me. It's also easy to follow. Um, his website is a video-based website, so you actually get to see him like working with dogs and working with the dog's owner. So I just think that's like the best way to learn. Uh, and it's also affordable. So I'm going to give you a, a link to him. But I am going to give you some free stuff because another reason I like to recommend Doggy Dan is that he has a lot of free materials, okay? I'm going to give you a link for uh, his video series called Potty Training Made Easy. Whether you're bringing home a puppy or an adult dog, you're going to be able to see him. He's actually in a person's house with their new puppy, and he's showing him everything, like how to how to set the puppy up, how to schedule the puppy, everything. Um, I think that that video series is the best dog and puppy potty training um, resource that I've ever seen, and it is free. I think that you're gonna you're gonna enjoy it, and you know what? <laughs> If you got to do potty training, please just watch that video series because don't screw around for six months where the dog is getting in trouble all the time, the carpet is ruined, you know, just don't even screw around. Just watch the tutorial, do the free video series and get it right from the beginning for your sake and for your dog's sake, okay? I'm also going to give you a link for another free video series from Doggy Dan called The Easy Way to an Obedient Dog. And then I'm also going to give you a link for an ebook called The Complete Cat Training Guide. Now, also on my YouTube channel, you'll see playlists. Um, there's pet care, pet health, um, there's cat training, dog training, 
puppy training. So if you want to kind of hone in on whichever pet you're bringing home, keep in mind that I do have those playlists already organized for you and you might want to scroll through some of them and uh, get some help on any, maybe there's some issues that you're particularly worried about or interested in, but I think you're going to get a pretty thorough um, education and resources and help just by using all the links that I'm going to give you in the description box. Also, I'm going to give you the link to this post that I'm using uh, for today's video. I'll give you the link to the post so that you can just go through it like we're going through it in today's video and you can pick out you know what you want to click into, okay? Getting a new pet is always worth it. I have had pets my whole life since I was a little kid, and they've always just brought tremendous amounts of love and joy and laughter and comforting um, and entertainment uh, to me and my family. So I think that they're definitely worth it, but it is also um, necessary to realize that they can be a lot of work and they're a lot of responsibility and you are responsible not only to keep the pet alive, but to make sure that the cat has, or the cat or the dog has a healthy, fulfilling, safe life. Okay. I also personally believe that once you adopt an animal, you're in it for the long haul. Now, unless there's a particular issue that you just can't get by, like you didn't know about that with this pet and, you know, it's it's just not going to work out for you to have the pet. Like, for example, if you adopt a dog and they're attacking your kids all the time and no matter what you do, you can't stop it. Do you know what I mean? Like, if it's something kind of severe, kind of serious, then obviously you would have to... Um, get rid of the pet, make sure you do it responsibly. If nothing else, take it to your local SPCA, explain the issue and let them find a suitable home for that pet. But other than that, please stay on board. You know, it's not okay to go get a dog from the SPCA, bring the dog home. The dog is terrified. They're, they don't know what's going on. It's a stressful situation for them to go and only to have you three weeks later get fed up and, you know, you just don't feel like doing it and you take the dog back to the SPCA. Do you know what I mean? Like, please realize that when you get a new pet, you're in it for the long haul. And for most pets, that's anywhere from 10 to 20 years. Um, most pets are going to be between 10 and say 15 or 16 years, but I did have a cat live to 20 years and with all the advances in uh, medical care for pets, pets are living longer. So you know what? Consider it. I would say between 10 and 20 years you're going to have that pet. So just keep that in mind um, when you're getting a new pet. This, by the way, is my latest pet, Whiskers. If you've been here before, you might have seen him in some videos. This is a, a battery-operated oper squirrel um, that I got him for Christmas last year. And it's a, it's a squirrel, and it runs on batteries, and the tail goes like this. It, I was creeped out by it for the first six months. The thing looks alive. It's like so creepy. But it is his all-time favorite toy. He's fallen in love with this thing. He takes it to bed with him every night. He protects this thing. So we ended up naming the squirrel Marsha. <laughs> So it's kind of like his girlfriend, but there he is uh, with Marsha. If I remember, I'll give you the link to that squirrel in case you're adopting a cat. Because you know what? Not only is he madly in love with Marsha, but Marsha makes a very good babysitter. I work at home and I need the cat to be entertained. I, I can't be, you know, playing with the cat all day or like in the evening if you're tired the squirrel will bring you a lot of peace, as will really any interactive toy. Again, if I if I remember, I'll try to give you some links for some of these interactive toys that kind of help keep your pet busy to kind of give you a break. Um, now, bringing home a new pet does mark the beginning of a years-long friendship with a loving and loyal companion. Um, from the careful preparation, building trust, creating a routine, committing to their health, happiness, and well-being, you will be investing in a relationship that will enrich your life for years to come. And if you have ever owned a pet, you know that that's true, right? A couple of things before we go. First, I have... Um, uh, dog lovers um, email list and I have a cat lovers email list. I'm going to give you a link to sign up for those. You can sign up for one of them or both of them if you have a dog and a cat. If you sign up for those just about every five or seven days you will get an email from peoplelovinganimals.com and it will be all about the care and health and training of dogs or cats depending on which list you're on and you can go ahead and sign up uh, for both. With both of those, you do get a little free gift when you sign up. 
Also, if you've not been here before, I donate to animal charities. I receive a small commission for some, not all, but some of the products and services that I recommend on my YouTube channel and also on my website. It's how I make a living doing peoplelovinganimals.com. And I donate 10% of my earnings to animal charities. And if you go to the homepage of my website, peoplelovinganimals.com, you will see a list of the animal charities that I donate to. So I hope that uh, I hope this video wasn't disappointing. I hope that I didn't lead you to believe that we were like going to cover everything. But again, if we did, it would be a three or four hour video that I don't think you want to sit through. So I wanted to just break it up. Here's everything that I have on getting a new pet and give you the links uh, to be able to click into whatever you're interested in or things you don't know about, things you think you need to learn about, things you're nervous about, or if if it's been a while since you've owned a pet, maybe you could just use them as kind of a uh, refresher course, all right, getting up to speed. So congratulations on getting a new pet. I'm so excited. I would love it if you would comment uh, below the video. Let me know what are you getting, dog, puppy, cat, how old are they? If you have any specific issues or concerns, please go ahead and um, make a comment. I would love to, I would love to read in your comment and find out what you're getting. So again, I appreciate you watching. If you found today's video helpful, please go ahead and give it a like. My name is Deborah, and my website is peoplelovinganimals.com. Thanks again. Bye-bye.